Sam DiGiovanna, and I'm the fire chief at the Verdugo Fire Academy in Glendale. And just starting off here, uh, obviously, Southern California expected to get some rain over the next day or so. Um, what are some of the benefits going to be of that of that rain? Is that rain that the, the region needs right now? Well, we certainly do need the rain right now, but we don't need a lot of it right now. We're still very vulnerable from the Eaton and the Palisades fire along with other fires that we've had over the past few months. So the rain is welcome, but not in heavy doses. What can people look for in terms of mudslide vulnerability? What are some of the, the signs that people can be on the lookout for? Well, you can start off finding cracks in hillside retaining walls. That's a good sign. Water that's seeping in areas around your home that you don't, don't normally see or cracks on the interior and exterior of the walls of your home. Also door jams or windows that are stuck or sticky um, or hard to open, that's a good sign that the earth is moving. And you might even notice tilted trees, poles, walls, and fences. These are also good warning signs of earth movement. And some areas are gonna get maybe an inch of rain, but the mountains are expected to get even more, some areas up to three and a half inches. Um, how does that sort of range come into play when it comes to the likelihood of a mudslide? Could you see a mudslide in an area that only gets an inch? Absolutely. It doesn't take a whole lot, especially in the burn scarred areas. Up to a quarter inch to a half inch of rain in a short amount of time can cause a mudslide. Usually the first one to two rainy seasons post fire are the most dangerous, especially in steep terrain. However, the threat can last up to three to five years, depending on how quickly the vegetation grows back and stabilizes the soil. Well, if you're in a vehicle and you see mud flow water, you know, remember the old saying, turn around, don't drown. Six inches of water can move a vehicle. 12 inches can move an SUV and 18 inches of water can move a large truck. So even it doesn't take a whole lot. And if, avoid down power lines if you see any. Treat them as if they're energized. We probably will have wind out of this. So make sure, be careful with the down power lines. You may want to consider bringing in your Halloween uh, decorations as well as patio furniture. You want them to be there after the storm clears. If you're in the middle, if you get caught in the middle of a mudslide, how can you best protect yourself and your home and your, your, your other family members? Well, let's start uh, outside. If you're the outside, if you're outside, move uphill and away to higher ground as quickly as possible. Mud flows travel downhill rapidly and can run quickly and cover everything in its path very quickly. You want to avoid river beds and water channels. These are natural pathways for debris flows. Stay clear of them even when they appear dry because this water and mud flow can come out of nowhere. Uh, don't try to outrun uh, one uh, because instead the shelter takes shelter behind a large stable object like boulders, sturdy walls. This will help deflect the debris and the mud flow. Now, pretend I'm a, a, your average LA resident and I'm worrying about a potential mudslide. What could I do at this moment to best prepare? Well, like any disaster, you should have food, water, and supplies for up to 72 hours. In this particular instance, with this mud flow and the rain, you may want to avoid going outside or even going to work if you can. You know, I know it's only going to be an inch of rain. We haven't had a lot of rain in a while, so we probably will see flooding. Stay indoors, have food, water, and supplies, extra uh, flashlights with extra batteries, and stay tuned to KNBC4 and find out um, what you're supposed to be doing as far as evacuations, where to go, and what to do. Well, worst case uh, scenario, just like we saw in San Bernardino, uh, they can bury or sweep away homes, especially those built on steep or sleep, uh, steep slopes. We could have loss of life. Mud flows can trap or drown individuals, particularly those that get caught or unaware or unable to evacuate. Infrastructure such as roads, bridges, and utility lines can be destroyed and cut off emergency services and access. So those are the things you need to start thinking about right now.